Good afternoon. My name is Jung Park, Emeritus Professor of Gyeonggi University Medical School. Now I am working at Jangwon Medical Foundation New to Labs, Seoul, Korea. It is my great honor to be invited in this wonderful meeting, White Night 2021. Also, thank you, Irina, to give me to meet all of you again. And then my last visit was 2019, June. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, differential diagnosis of small cell malignant bone tumors. I will discuss case-based histology and some important differential diagnostic point. This is a 14-year-old male, and he had a swelling and pain on his left face for two years. He took radiologic exams. CT coronal and axial images shows a soft tissue mass in the left maxillary sinus with multiple calcifications. The lateral row of sinus is destroyed with the extension of soft tissue mass. The gadolinium enhanced coronal and sagittal MR images shows a diffuse enhancement with the focal non-enhanced areas. Histologically, you can see diffusely infiltrative growth of small to medium-sized tumor cells without any organoid pattern. We did immunohistochemical staining, and then this CD99 shows a beautiful membranous staining. The CEP2 shows uh, intense nuclear party staining. So these are the differential diagnoses using lymphoma, mesenchymal chondrosarcoma, small cell osteosarcoma, synovial sarcoma, and cheek and bicro sarcomas, or a CD99 positive tumors. So this is a low power view, and uh, you may see trabecular bones with a diffusely infiltrative growth of tumor cells between trabecular bones without any organoid pattern. The individual tumor cells shows fairly amount of cytoplasm with ovoid to vesicular nuclei, and the nucleoli was not prominent. I could not recognize my 30 figures in this slide. Finally, we did tl one immunostaining and it shows intense nuclear staining. So my diagnosis on the first case is a monophasic pattern, synovial sarcoma. The case number two is a 38-year-old female had a pain and mass on her buttock areas for several months. APB of the uh, hip shows bone destruction or left femoral head neck and the greater trochanter with intense indistinct margin. Such that T1 weighted ML image shows low signal and lesion at the proximal femur with posterior super extension of soft tissue mass. Enhanced ML image shows a slightly enhancement with the focal non-enhanced areas. It weighted actual image shows in bar, diffuse involvement of the left femoral head, neck, and the greater trochant with the low signal intensity. The lesion is extended into posterior aspect of hip and involvement of left internal obturator muscle. With the biopsy diagnosis, the lesion was resected, and then this surface shows a mixed gray-white tumor tissue on the femoral head and the femoral neck areas with hemorrhage. This is a low power view, and then you can see prominent vasculatures and compact cellular nests. This high power view shows hemangioperacidic vasculature with the spindle tumor cells surrounding these vasculatures. The individual tumor cells shows rather ovoid to spindle shaped without any organoid pattern. This L2 is positive and EMA is also positive. This EMA is very important to differentiate from the malignant peripheral lobe tumor. So final diagnosis is sign of your sarcoma. The case number three is that the four-year-old uh, boy and the mom recognizes remains from this boy. 
APN and the left oblique view of the left thorax shows upon destruction of left seventh rib with the periosteal reaction of sunburst appearance and bony sclerosis. CT axial image shows a diffuse thickening of the rib with the periosteal reaction of sunburst appearance and then diffuse sclerosis. The rib region shows soft tissue mass formation with heterogeneous density. The adjacent rib is compressed. 3D reconstruction image shows irregular contour version of the left seventh rib. So the rib was resected and then this is outer surface and then this is the cut surface. You can see the fish flesh appearance and then extraosseous mass is uh, far bigger than the, the intraosseous mass. This is a characteristic feature of Ewing sarcoma. So here are cytologic the several variants, cell arranged in lobule, cold-like pattern, and the individual tumor cell shows around the nuclei with a fine chromatin pattern. And then the diagnosis of Ewing sarcoma, and nowadays the NKX, the 2.2 is a uh, very good uh, immunohistochemical marker. And then I did not touch in D because the following speakers will discuss a lot about this Ewing sarcoma. This number four is a 21 year old male and uh, he had a pain and swelling on his right hip for two months. AP radiograph of hip shows diffuse sclerosis of the neck and intertrochanteric portion of the right femur and the right ischium and left superior pubic uh, lamus. T1 weighted coronal image shows a diffuse involvement of right femur head, neck, and intertrochanteric portion with low signal intensity. After the, the biopsy diagnosis, the total hip replacement was done, and this is the surface of the whole femur showed diffuse infiltrative growth of gray-white tumor tissue up to the femoral head cartridge. Histologically, the tumor cells infiltrated between the trabecular bone and the cortical bones. This is a high power view and then the tumor cell shows a rather spindle to round shaped nuclei without any characteristic growth pattern. We struggle to find any clue to diagnosis this case and with the numerous immunohistochemical staining including lymphoma panel, all are negative except the CEPI2 is only positive. So the diagnosis is the small cell osteosarcoma. This 33-year-old male uh, suffered from pain and swelling on his index finger. APN lateral radiograph of the second finger shows osteolytic bone lesion at the proximal phalanx. The lesion shows a contour bulging with a continuous type of periosteal reaction and the swelling of soft tissue around the, the proximal phalanx is noted. A soft tissue mass formation is unknown. This low power view shows a necrosis and cellular sheaths. And then here are necrosis and the rather spindles to avoid the tumor cells. In area, the tumor cells arrange the perivascular the spaces. The individual tumor cell shows a relatively uniform cytomorphology with minor nuclear polymorphism with vesicular chromatin pattern. The cytoplasm is rightly eugenophilic and also minor the fibrotic stroma is present. So we did immunostaining and this is a negative, this means negative, as an android is also not. So we sent this case to Chris Fletcher and he helped us to make the diagnosis of cheek a duct for sarcoma fusion. So final diagnosis is cheek duct for sarcoma. Some people say cheek or some people say chic, whatever you like that you can call it. So this is a WHO 2020 the, the description cheek rearranged sarcoma referring to the most frequent subtype of Ewing uh, like tumor. It associated with the chick located gene chromatin chromosome 19 showdown. 
So most of the, the uh, high grade round cell undifferentiated sarcoma defined the chick gene related the fusion most commonly chick duct for gene. It most of cases occur in the deep soft tissue of the limb or the trunk, and then it frequently affected the young adult around the 25 to 35 years old. So this is a WHO recommendation. Essential part is the predominant round cell phenotype, minor nuclear uh, pleomorphism, and a variable mixoid stroma, and CD99 is positive with a frequent WT and an ETB4 positive. And also they uh, re recommended, uh, if possible, gene rearrangement molecular study. The prognosis is a highly aggressive and frequently metastasis to the lung, and then uh, is worse than the, the urine sarcoma, most commonly the fiber suballoyed is a 15 to 43%. This is the last case that I wanted to discuss to, uh, this afternoon. This the patient is a 15-year-old male, and then he noted the progress enlargement, enlarged mass over the, his right fifth proximal toe. Actually, this is a professor Oda from the Kyushu University case, and then this uh, plain film radiography shows mixed osteolytic and osteoblastic changes of middle to distal portion of right. Uh, fifth metatarsal bones with cortical erosion. Uh, histologically, you can see loose fibromyxoid stroma and microcystic changes. And then these are fibromyxoid and some sclerotic areas, and also some spindle areas mimicking leiomyoma. The tumor cells show abundant intracytoplasmic clear spaces with dark small nuclei. Actually, we discussed this case, Korea Japan joined the slide seminar and the Professor Oda showed uh, beautiful B cro and B3 gene alteration with positive B cro and nuclear staining. So diagnosis is a B cro gene sarcoma. So this is my case and the 14 year old boy had the right hand medial aspect of the tissue mass. This is a typical, the histology showing solid sheets of undifferentiated round to ovoid cells with a light eosinophilic to clear cytoplasm. The tumor cells have round nuclei with a fine chromatin pattern and scattered mitotic figures. Some cells show a slightly spindle shaped with slightly mixoid background. Immunohistochemistry uh, uh, were done and the all are positive except the cytokeratin. So we sent the case to St. Jude and then they did the B-cross staining and it was diffusely positive and the fish staining was the b rearrangement. So this is a WHO recommendation and then essential part is that the primitive round to spin the cell uh, arranged in nest sheets or vascular growth pattern. Variably mixoid stroma and delicate vasculatures and immunohistochemistry B and CP2 is positive. And also if possible, they recommend molecular confirmation. The prognosis is uh, similar to those of the, the Ewing sarcoma and some histology response to Ewing sarcoma is uh, quite similar after the, the chemotherapy. A significant uh, patient represent the metastasis to the lung followed by bone and soft tissue. And uh, these are the recently described the big core family tumors, including the creosis sarcoma, ossifying fibromyxoid tumor of soft tissue. This is uh, the uh, summary of the, the small rounds of uh, sarcoma and chick duct 4 and the big core of the sarcoma. Uh, big core is the most common in male and then the most common in the, the bone tissue rather than the soft tissue in chick sarcoma. And the immunohistochemically, the B core is a 90% is positive, and then the chick core is a WT1, ETB4 is positive. And uh, NKX 2.2, uh, which is a uh, Ewing's the tumor marker, is a negative in both cases. 
Spongebob, this is my last slide. Thank you for your attention.